guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I've got a PlayStation 3 stripped down for you. No, I've not gone mad. This is the second PS3 that I got in the latest round of, um, yeah, drunk um, eBaying. But, as the last video, I think might have been the um, stripping down of the other one. The other one works fine, but the thing that's missing is this. Now, I'm going to see if this will work, but I want this cover to cover the um, memory card, which I think should easily just pop off. If it doesn't pop off, then I'll have to find one on eBay or something. For There's one on it for 10 quid, I think, but if I've got one here and this, this doesn't work for some reason. So I'm going to quick strip down of this at fast speed so you don't have to sit around watching me drone on and on about all things. So, fast forward from now on a little bit. See, it's filthy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this out. And all thing I need is probably to take this off here anyway. If it does come off, it looks like it is doing, but I want to get rid of the dust first. So, bear with me. I'm back in a minute. Now, cleaning over with. Now, I can see this is different, and I knew I weren't going mad. Still got the. Um, I actually got one of them. I should have done that. Um, to start with, there's no extra bit over here for the um, yeah. There's no extra bit over there for the for the buttons, but the buttons are there. Uh, disk drive fits in the same place. Hmm. Power supply goes over here now instead of in there. There's no memory card slot, which obviously it's not on Mark 1. <coughs> Excuse me. But the board, the board looks a lot smaller. Similar sort of. I knew I wasn't going mad, I knew there were. It looked different. Okay, let's come back to this. I don't want that just yet. What I want is this is the top cover. If this will unclip both of those, then will it come out? Just put another one there. Now that looked like it was coming out there. And where's another one? Huh. Will that, because you can see through this, there I am. Will that fit on the other PS3? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. That's my copyright gone. This video. Right. Goes that way. I don't think that will. Unless I completely cannibalize it, cut off these, cut off them, and just stick it to that. But I suspect it will not be good enough. So it looks like they've changed it quite a bit in the redesigns. So it wants to go kind of there, but that piece of plastic is in the way, it wants to be there. Basically what is it's just a flap that goes over, which is all apart from. Yeah. 
I mean, I cut quite easily. Just cut it if I need it. For the minute, I'm going to leave that and see what's what. Because if this second PS3 does not work, there's absolutely no point in buying extra stuff when it doesn't work. So let's get down to stripping this again with the drill bit. And um, yeah, let's go back and fast forward again. bit different. It's got a nice cluster of chips there. There's four on here that need thermal padding. But why would they? It's missed everything, hasn't it? Yeah. Missed absolutely everything put in there. So why the hell are they there? Are these meant to be on here? That goes... Oh, hold on. That goes... Hmm. Why are the thermal pads on there? So I need to get this done with cleaning. This needs to come off. There should be a screw or two holding this down. Or just bad thermal paste, that's this metal. I think that's where the two screws go to that I can't figure out where they go on the other one. Anyway, this needs a good clean. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, all nice and clean. All I need to do now, I'm going to re-thermal paste this because it's... Might as well. The pads aren't actually that bad on this. So I think what I'll do is keep the pads on where they're supposed to be. Now there's four, there's only four on this. It's a little weird. It's already got one. Because there was more on the other one. I just realised they don't hold the heat enough to justify it, but There's one here, yeah, there's one here as well. I'm going to clean off, keep that as it is. And I'll get back to you in a second. Bit of fast forward clean, I think. Living clean, these are really shiny. Quite like that. A couple of scratches on there, but if it's never been opened, why is it scratched? But anyway, thermal paste this. So one on there, one on there. I need to transfer that over to here. So I said before, I need to be careful because I've not got much left of this. Okay. 
Chinese. We don't really need much more than that, I won't think. There's nothing there in case I need to do the PS, the uh, Xbox 360. Right, I don't want these to fall off, but one has. So, is it that way around? No, it's that way around. The other ones fell off. Anything has fell off. It's done with. So, so. Remember rightly, tabs go underneath there, there, and there, and here, and here. Creating like a hinge. It clips. Oh, it clips on place on the front. Okay. So, one across there, no, one across there, one across there. And let's screw this back in. I'm not fully fussed about this being perfect because it doesn't work. But I'm not gonna skimp a little bit on doing stuff just because. And get it to work in happy times. It's hand tight. It will spread the paste quite well. Done. Hand tight on. Done. Done. Happy times. It yeah, looks new apart from the hair on there. I'm sure there's only two on there, but hey ho. Right, power lead at the bottom. I hope I did this on the other one. If, it's, if I haven't, then at least I know I'll take it to pieces a few times. So that's done with. Now reassembly.
all done. All it takes now is a test. So, let's see if anything I've done has been worthwhile. So I'll unplug that. I'll plug in there. It gives me the power. Okay, when I have the power. That works on everything. So over it goes. Change the tally over to AV2. It was on AV2, damn it. And now switch on the wall. Switch on the back. I have a red light in the front. I heard the floppy go then. There's nothing on the screen. So you see they're stuck in HD mode. But now I can get out of that. No disk in, let's turn that off. Oh, the way to get out of it is press and hold, keep it held. Do you hear the second beep? And that should reset this to your standard composite from your HDMI. And it doesn't seem to work. So all I can think is maybe getting this rigged up to um, a HDMI TV so while I find one I'll be right back okay we're back try it on the TV won't work try the resets press and hold get one beep won't change won't change from HDMI to composite pressed hold again got the two beeps won't do anything screen doesn't want to recognize anything green lights on I think this is a candidate for the green light of death so it's um there's a few different things i could try but i'm not going to because i've got one playstation working out in this this lot i'm happy with that i'll get this on ebay get it shipped out somebody else might be able to get this fixed and have a play around with it but for this it's a good tutorial for um Stripping down, I'm not clean anymore to be honest. There's no point. It's um yeah, it's 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 fine, it's just not the one I want. The other one I wanted. It's absolutely fine because I'm sure it's back backwards compatible. So end of end of line for this one. Quickly in the garage and quickly out again. So thanks for watching. I hope it's helped you tear down this type of PS3. And I hope it's um, you can see how, how easy it is once you actually get used to it. And, yeah, but I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.